ID, copy. Coming in, Craig. Is it down or is it still in the sky? Oh no. I've lost the drone. Yeah, oh no. Latitude then longitude. Latitude then longitude, alright, give it to me again. Waypoint, create waypoint, there we go. Alright, give it to me. Seven seven four nine five four. Five four. Save and go to. There it is. Boom. That's it, right on the track. Pretty much exactly where we thought. Like pretty much so right you're in. about here. Yep. Alright, this is it. Okay, we're pretty much we're pretty much, we're pretty much on it, guys. No, it's some it's somewhere in this area, guys. Found it. Got it. Look at that. Do you believe that? Drone. Drone. GPS maps. Keep them on. Hold that. Pima. Thank you once again. X marks the spot. There's our little waypoint. We've pretty much got the waypoint right in the middle. Drone recovered, but more importantly, card recovered. Day She's recovered. There. <laughs> SD cards in there. Let's go, boys. I can't believe that just happened. Woo! That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, so we've just arrived back at camp. Check this out. Me and Sarah have come back Ooh. a little bit later than the kids. Yeah, crew. Good job. Oh, you oh, you guys are cooking. Capable. Yeah. You guys are very capable. Look, me's on the sausages. Me's on dinner. Boys have lit the fire. Um, so what does that mean? I'm kind of impressed. Now, we were planning on rolling out of here in the morning, but I was speaking to a guy named John. John up there has told me about a place called Hidden Valley. And the only way that you can get to this valley is by air. There is a track that goes in there, but nobody has driven the track since the last wet season. To get there, we have to get permission to drive through a uranium mine, drive through them the middle of a working uranium mine. So he's on the radio now, he's gonna come down and see us in a bit later on. He's gonna see if the mine site will give us special permission to get through there. Then we go onto this four wheel drive track and he reckons it is the last time he drove it was about 12 months ago and he drove it in a side by side, a Polaris or whatever. And he said that the track is hardcore. If we can get the trucks through there, we'll be the first ones to go through there in probably a year. And one of the very limited amount of people, the only people that ever get to go out there are geologists. They go out there doing research. Black truck and the Ram. He said there's no way that you get a standard 200 series through there. Yeah. yeah. We take the black truck and the Ram through there. Go out and find this place called Hidden Valley. What do you reckon? Yeah. Sounds like something out of a princess movie. Out of a princess movie. <laughs> yeah. You know why it's called Hidden Valley, Mia? Why? While you're burning the sausages. <laughs> Because it's hidden, the only way you can see it is from the air. Yes. Yeah? yeah so cool. He's going to give us a rundown on what it is. It's like a, I think he said it's like a granite plateau, like a granite valley that's that's hidden in all of these mountains. Yeah. But tonight, let's cook a feed, maybe have a couple of beers. Yeah. Dad and Belinda are up there having a shower, I think, somewhere. They'll be back here later on. We'll have a good sleep because tomorrow is going to be a massive day. Our Arcarula adventure. is ain't, over. Ain't it? So our Arcarilla adventure, it isn't over. Morning, welcome to a special little scene of Patriot Games. We're gonna slot this in somewhere. This is something that we didn't plan, but something that has come off um, absolutely epic. I'm gonna give you a bit of the background story. So, we're out here at Arcarula. We were planning on leaving this morning. 
Now, we got granted special permission to come in here as well, so we're actually just drove through a uranium mine. Now, this track is going to be wild. We've left uh, the 200 back at camp. Uh, we've got the Ram 2500 out here. We've got the black truck. I think for this one here, if it's as bad as we think it's going to be, I think this is probably just going to be a mission for the black truck. I've got no lockers in the 2500. or don't have a lot of uh, ground clearance in there, but we'll see how far. This might be a mission for you too. Do you Thanks accept this mission? I do yes. accept, sir. You accept this mission? Do you accept this yes. mission? And do you accept this mission? Yeah. yeah? So, Dad, Belinda, you're rolling with us in the back of the Ram. So, me, Sarah, Dad and Belinda in the Ram. Kids in the black truck. Don't know how far we're going to get. The track is that away. That away. So, we That's hear cool. the track is about four kilometres long to get in there, but it's going to be a pretty wild four case. It is. 8.30 in the morning. Let's see how long this takes us. And let's see if we can get this mission done. Oh, who wants to make bets? <laughs> you want to make a bet? I reckon that we'll be back here at 1.14. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So you're allowing like four or five hours? Five hours. Okay, what do you reckon? Five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> this is Patriot Games. Yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, 12. Lunch time when I'm hungry. 227. 227? 226. <laughs> Linda? I'll go 228. <laughs> well, I can guarantee what's going to happen here. We'll be back here about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee that this is Patriot Games, and if you know how we roll, you know that things are going to, the milk's going to go bad. It's going to happen. Um, let's hope not. All right, let's get in the trucks. Do let's it. get up the track. Let's see how gnarly this thing is. You on channel there, buddy? Yep, I'm on channel. Okay, so, um, I can barely see the track. You can see how long it's been since someone's been down here because it's, it's grass. I can kind of see uh, a couple of um, wheel tracks in front of us. It looks like we're going to dip into this valley um, just here, boys. So I think we're going to be getting into this straight away, aren't we? Perfect, I'm keen. Kiddos, this is going to be a big day. Look at this, straight up out of the gate. Oh, nice little wash out. Yeah, that's a that's a rear bar there. Don't damage the back of that tray. Eh? You know that's a one of a kind. I've got a little job for you today. You're going to be doing spotting. Okay. All right, you can to do spotting. Sure. You know how to use one of these. Yeah. This one might be a bit big for you though. <laughs> so I got you a pretty little pink one. <laughs> Your job is to spot both of the trucks as we come through, all right? Oh, no. Do you want to do a test? Me and dear Toby? <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Pink little radio for a little girl. <laughs> all right? Apprentice, like radio. That's the apprentice radio. All right, keep it on channel nine. Cool? Yeah. So you spot daddy. Here we go. All right, and then the boys. Yeah, so I'm going to be helping Mia because she's the um, apprentice here and she doesn't know what she's doing. So that's why she's got the <laughs> little pink learner's radio. So, yeah. yeah. Let's see how, how she can go. All right, Mimi, we good? Yeah. All right, here we go. So, so go right? Yeah, right bit. Go right a bit. Okay, going right. <laughs> Hit the okay, we don't want to do that. The bull bar's gonna hit, so we have to put a big rock under the tide and get it up. Okay, Mia, we good to go? It's easy. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, try not to rip my front bar off. Yeah, yeah. 
Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. I know. I'm pretty good. Definitely the track right there. Yep. Oh my god. Babe, that is not the track. That's the track. Hey Ash, Oregon, this is the track right here in front of us. Okay. Hey, you sh <laughs> no, I'm definitely not sure, but let's get out and have a look because that way to the my right is a dead end. There was nothing to the left. I reckon that's it in front of us, hey. Wow. Yeah, all right, well let's get out and have a little bit of a Walk. Yep, let's walk it first. We'll have a look. This, this is what they were talking about back at the homestead, eh? Well, I think we. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh this is fun. Okay, this. This just got real. Uh, this just really got real. That's solid, man. Oh my god, dude. I don't know, I don't know if the truck's capable of this. Oh, it's filled in now. <laughs> you can't even like, walk up it. Oh, yeah, man. That's wild. A bit easier. Yeah, okay. But it looks soft up there, man. Well, this just got real. Like, really real. Um, this is a section of track that they were talking about uh, back at the homestead. You can see down there, it is like rocky, washed out, rutted out. I think it looks like it gets a little bit better as you move up here. How's it looking up there, Ash? Yeah, it's loose. Yeah, it's loose. All right, but it's not as ruddy, eh? That makes me feel a little bit better. Um, whoa. Then on our way back, we have to come, come down this. Yeah. Coming down it probably doesn't scare me as much as going up, but what are your thoughts on it? I'm keen, I'm excited. There's those trucks down there. Somehow, we're gonna get it up through this and go around there and then up to the top there. All right, let's get this done. Traction, traction's gonna be the problem through here, Ash. This is where you blow diffs, yeah? Spin wheels, lands on a rock, hooks up, bang. We've done that before in the black truck, multiple times. Yeah. Let's not do that today. Well, you've done that in the black truck. I oh, know, <laughs> but I'm I'm helping you learn from my mistakes, dude. That's how the father and son think, thing works. Like, every okay. mistake he ever made in his life, I haven't made those. Uh, you, know, you know what this Sarah, is? have I made any of those mistakes yet or not? No, don't, don't involve me. <laughs> You know what, this is, this is karma. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Dad, I know. Yeah, yeah, Dad, I know. Yeah, Dad, I know. Bang! That's that's how this is going to go down. Seriously, all jokes aside, you know that thing loves to lunch diffs, and this is the perfect place to do it. Because what will happen is you'll kind of you'll try and grab traction on the loose stuff, 
and then those big boulders and one of those big 35s comes down on the boulders and hooks up and just loads up the axles and see you later. Axles aren't generally a problem in the 79, especially not in the rear with that coil conversion, uh, but the diffs and that thing have just been problem after problem after problem. We don't want to be doing one of them out there because there's no way if we end up with one of these trucks in two-wheel drive today, one of them staying behind, it won't keep going and getting it back out of here is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolute nightmare. All right, so I think after looking at this, probably looked a little bit scarier than I thought when we got here, uh, but this is going to be some fun. All right, you ready? You want to roll the black truck up first? Sure. You late. All right, Done. let's go, roll him up. Just got my license six weeks ago, but I know what I'm doing. Good boy. Love you. Do a little bit of uh, rock fill in the hole and get the ram up. Nice. But all the hard parts done. Yeah. Well done. That was good, eh? That was good driving. I'm really impressed. The clutch work, spot on. All right, Rob, we ready? How's the ram? Ready? Um. Yeah, like. I suppose three and a half ton, no lockers, two inches of lift, and the standard drivetrain. Yeah, we're ready. Let's bring her up then. She's a big girl to be going up here, eh? Okay, stay to my right. There you are. Good. How far am I from that hole on the right? No, you're good. You're good. As you are. Alright. Right, you're a little bit wider, Justin, so I'll get you to take a different line. As you are, straight ahead, but nice and slow. Left hand down. Looking good. You're going to come up with big hump. It's down on me. You still have to, you still have to climb it. 
So this is where I'm starting to wish that I did put a rear rocker. So I'm gonna have to tackle this a little bit differently than the black truck. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of momentum and just kind of get it to bounce over the boulder that dad's telling me in front of him. So I'll just back it up just a little bit. I don't wanna lose too much traction. So probably about there, I reckon. Dad, what do you reckon from there? Well, you need to come, try and come forward because you're not going backwards because you're climbing a big rock. All right, here we go. Little bit of momentum, and now we got traction. So that's the worst of it gone, I think. You're looking good. Left hand down a bit. Looking good. Yeah, that's a perfect line. Just keep on Just keep oh, that was the diff. As you are, you're looking good. Yeah, that's a perfect line. There's the big girl. How do you like them apples? They're good, I'm telling you. I love these trucks. Yeah, looking real good. Making it look too easy, Justin. All right, we got traction here. Awesome, Dad. Let's get everybody back in the cars and uh, let's get up on that ridge line, eh? That actually made it look easy. I'm surprised how easy it made it look. Once again, it's not the car, it's the goddamn driver. It's all about the driver. It's the driver, son. It's the driver. Take a bit of credit. You see, deserve it. See where I get my confidence from, or ar slash arrogance, whatever you want to call it. It might come from that. I'm still 40 years old, and my dad's still patting me on the back. How cool is that? <laughs> that ridge is kind of scaring me a little bit. So let's get up over that ridge, and we'll see what the next obstacle is. Kids come on and they say, uh, this looks nasty. It's probably nasty. I can't see from where I am right now. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. That's fun. Does that not look fun? All right, well, that's a good one. Ah, just drive around it, dude. It's all good. You got a big rock here, mate. You're just gonna bounce over this one. There you go. Left hand down, left hand down. Too easy, mate. It's definitely a bit of a challenge pedaling the big rig through here. She is a big girl, but. It, 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 they keep on impressing me, eh? You know, like, you just can't... You don't think that they, they're capable of doing this sort of stuff, but they really are, you know? And like I keep saying, this is pretty much a standard truck. It's a mechanically standard truck. It's got a 2-inch lift and 35 inch size, so... Yeah, I'm really happy. Kiddos, that valley's not far away, eh? It must be just over this ridge, man. Yeah, I hope so. I'm keen to see it. Well, on the map, I reckon you'll probably be able to see it once we get up the top of this, eh? I'm so keen. Nice. 
That's really nice. Hidden Valley, dude. That's it. Stop here. Let's have a look. This looks like a scene out of um, Jurassic Park. It looks exactly like a scene out of Jurassic Park. Here it is, dude. So we've just come around the corner and the Hidden Valley is definitely hidden. It's just this big plateau in the middle of all of these hills. It's actually really, really gorgeous to see. Um, I really want the sun to come over, It'll even look better. What do you got? Check this out. Look, there's like a little lock heart in this one. That's quartz. That's quartz. Oh, That's qu that is quartz. With, a with the love heart in it. it I know, yeah? I got it from here. So this is what they, they're talking about. Look at this, just rocks that um, Sarah has picked up uh, from around the place. That's all granite, that stuff there. Look at the colour in that. Mm. I mean, I'm not turned on by rocks, don't get me wrong. Oh, but cool. any rock that you can pick up off the ground here. Now, this is a glacial valley. So what happened was when the icebergs were floating along here, the glaciers were floating along here, they come in through here and as they melted, they deposited all, all, all of these rocks in this area. And this is a really, really important geological uh, area. Most, one of the most important geological areas in the world because it is one of the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. And you definitely pick up on that when you talk to anyone here. You talk to anybody who works here, lives here, knows the area, you know, that's, that's what they're constantly talking about. For. So if you are turned on by rocks, <laughs> if rocks float well, your not, boat... but that's exciting. <laughs> ...like Sarah, get down to Arcarula and you will have yourself a good time. Oh, here comes the sun. Great trip, Flinders Rangers guys, definitely recommend it. Get out here with the family, bring a full drive, talk to the locals. Uh, but today, it's not over yet. So there's a big switchback down the back here, about another kilometre. I think we're going to get to there. We've stopped here and we've enjoyed kind of here because this is our first view of the valley, but there's meant to be a really nice view on the switchback. Long trek out of here. So it's still not over yet. Let's get back in the trucks. Let's see what the next kilometre of track has to offer. Keep in mind, we've only done four and a bit k's and it's taken us a long time. So this could be, this could be another couple of hours. Let's get back in the trucks. Let's get moving. You on channel, mate? Yeah, mate. You want to go hard right on that one there, mate? Mm. Don't mean to drop the black truck, though. Just go, just go, just go. Get in it, get in it. Go mate. Keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> Run away, get in it. Yes! <laughs> when all else fails, hit the gas, bro. That is it. That is exactly what we did. 
Oh now I'll show you. When in doubt, you power. Go, 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 go. That's it, Frost. Yo. Yo. We're here. Yo. We're here, yes. This is it. This is what we like to call in Patriot Games Adventures the payoff. Bit I sketchy. I don't even know like where the tra track is. Alright, look up here behind us. So can you see right up there oh, yeah, in I the see distance? Now. Yeah, yeah, I got it. That's it. So that's the final uh the final switchback. That's where they told us to stop. Um, because from there it goes on to another six K track that nobody has ever driven and you can see the moon above me right here. It is late. Who called, what time did you guys call when we were going to finish today? I went five, no, I went one fourteen. So that's way gone. I went five and you went ten. Well, did I say eight o'clock or ten o'clock? Ten. Ten o'clock. So I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be the closest. So this is it. Now is the final climb. Um, this is where things go wrong at the end of the day, but I'm not going to say that because we're going to take it very safe. You just didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. I said I'm not going to say that. But you said it before you said that you're not going to say that. Yeah, but then I said I'm not going to say that, so that cancels it out. No, but you said it. No, it's cancelled. Okay, so the big ram, the 2500 and the black truck are going on the final summit now. You yes. can? Yes. Okay. You have driven the wheels off that thing today too, dude. And yeah. you have spotted the hell out of everything today. Yeah, mate. We've had a massive day. Everybody's tired. We're going to be getting back late uh, tonight. The, the final, final climb. To the summit. Ashton's just wigged out. Now stop looking nervous, dude. You're making me nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm just taking the gander out. And shave, okay. too. Okay. And you need a shave. All right. <laughs> Let's get these trucks up there. Yeah, you've got a wheel up there. Ah, uh, yep. Am I right to come back there, guys? I don't oh, know. I yeah. oh, didn't know. Look at it. Alright, oh, that was a bit hairy. Alright, that's a good way to start. That just caught me off guard. Massive holes on the side here, big boulders on that side. Well, I hope this is not this is not the wrong move going up there. Okay. All right, mate, just come through because you can't go off from either side here, mate. Okay, you just 
windows up you don't put the windows down through here okay yep all right it's like in a race car right window nets um when it does start getting a little bit hairy windows up guys because what happens is in a rollover your natural reaction is to you know brace yourself stop yourself you hear about it all the time people putting their hands out of windows car rolling on top of them uh arms and legs seem to go everywhere in an accident that can all go bad i hope this is a good idea um, but we haven't come all this way and a whole day not to get through this. We'll go a bit further up the track. If it does get crazy, if it gets wild out of control, I'm gonna call it with the kids in the black truck, yeah? All right, let's get it done. All right, everyone's seatbelts on, please. Handbrake off. <laughs> Windows up. Do you want to show me your brace position? Good girl. <laughs> you got to tuck, tuck your head, tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Pay attention. How are you feeling, Ashy? Let me know if it gets too hairy, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Ashton, hug it right here, mate. Coffee. How close are we to that edge? slow buddy and just keep hugging that right wall. I'm a lot wider than you are mate so just follow my tracks okay? Copy that. Um, 
you guys out that side. Get out the car. Who? All of you. Hey, Craig. You? Yeah. Out that side. Can I walk it? Can we all? Is Mum and Belinda walking it? Right into Dad and ask if Mum and Belinda are walking. You two, get out. Babe, what about you? I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah, great you first, yeah. you. <laughs> you first. Dad, what's the call here? Dad, what's the call? Right, no, don't yes. get out. I'm fine. Don't get out. Why? You're not getting out. Why? As I said. What's the call here, Dad? Left hand down and back up. Full lock, left hand down and back up. How close is it? Pretty close. You can't keep on going straight. You might be able to go right, but then the back wheel I'm not sure on. But I think you go uh, yeah, left hand down and just back around there. <laughs> I think I might be better off going straight, to be honest. No. All right, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, leave the car? Which way do you want to do? I've got to go back. Okay, go back. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a better Just get in the car and turn the wheel in, uh, slowly. In, in saying that, Dad, if we, get the, if we get the engine up, that's the heaviest part of the car, right? Yeah. Sorry for my wife. Um, for me, yeah, that was that was definitely a little bit scary, but for her, man, ooh, I'll put her through some stuff, eh? I really do. I've just gone and checked up out there. There is a, one little switch back up here. We can definitely turn the cars around. I'm calling it, that's it, that's enough. Um, if it was just me in the truck, look, no problems. You know how we roll. I would not let that beat me, but there is not a hope in hell I'm gonna put any of those three in danger. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna guide them nicely through here. We'll get up to that next switchback. We'll stop up there, we'll take a big breath. We're gonna call that a day there, and um, everyone's gonna be nice and safe, and then uh, get back to camp. So let's get these kids through, yeah? This, this is right. Yeah, we're calling, I'm, I'm calling it. So what I'm gonna do is, I just walked up here, there is one switch back just on, just around the corner from where I am. So I'm gonna have to drive you through here. I took a really shitty line there, mate, and you're much, much narrower than I am. Do you want me to drive it up? Or do you want me to guide you through? I'm happy either way. I don't want yeah? yeah? Mate, I trust you. You've got it, darling. I'd like you out the car though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they wouldn't want Were you, you crying? <laughs> oh, darling. That's not what you want. That doesn't make me happy, okay? Um, it is what it is. Yeah. All right, you cool. two have got this. Let me just get you past. I'll just pull my ram forward a little bit. Let me just get you past this next section, and then uh, we'll keep this. Um, we'll keep this going. We'll get the kids turned around nice and safe.
Right, just listen to me. It's fine, mate. Not a drama. Come with me. All right, just bring it up, hug this wall. Yeah, and you just want to come around me, mate. Yeah. Okay, buddy, you good? Keep it going. You're on a good line. Yep, good line, mate. Perfect. All right, stack on passenger just a little bit. You have tons of around there. You got like three feet, mate. You're good. Okay, driver, 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 driver. That's it. Keep it going. All right, keep coming with me all the way to the top here, mate. The turn around just around this corner. You're good, mate. That was an experience. <sighs> good. I'm good. Through that stuff. It's fine. We're capable. What? Said if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? It's not. That's what this is all about, you know? You get into a situation and the situation's no good and you call it. That's it. End of story. It's over. I oh, thought that, that was worth it. Well, that was pretty good cool driving experience for your first time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the serenity. And the birds. Mm -hmm. chirping. Where? <laughs> Rob's like, <laughs> Rob's like yeah. All right. I just got into a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Well, at least you know that I love you, or else it would have been like, see ya! <laughs> well, at least you know the cameraman respects you when he turns his camera off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to close this episode right now because the sun is setting and we look we have have we not had an epic day? We've had the most amazing day. Okay, let me just say this, right? As scared as she was, I was probably three times scareder, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Because I'm driving the car, they are my kids too. This is my responsibility for this whole family to go on these adventures and make it home in one piece. That all lies on me. So when somebody gets scared or gets upset or emotional about what we're doing or even the viewers that are watching it, you've got to put yourself in my shoes for two seconds. I don't intentionally go out to try and do this stuff. Now, we were told this morning this was going to be a hell of an adventure. Mm. And we all signed up for this adventure. The adventure brought us something that we didn't expect. Mm. We haven't put the kids in danger at any time during the day. They've handled it really well. We knew that they were capable of making it up here, and they still are. The truck is here in one piece, but we called it when we felt like we had to call it. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. We're not at the summit. We haven't conquered or completed what I set out to do this morning, and if you watch Patriot Games or you know me, you know that's not like me. I will do anything to get to that top of the hill, but not uh, putting them in danger. I was told that only 15 people in the last 10 years have come up here to the summit other than people doing geographical work and it's still only 15 and it's, well we're nearly there we're could have been 24 it. today let's just let's walk up walk well, no, now i want to get the cars down before dark you're not driving down that in dark eh? yeah that's yeah. so that's that's, good that's call. the call right now is like literally the sun's gone oh no it and is it is just, just there. Okay. let's quickly get the cars to that spot and let's run up the top. We gotta to do it. We can't come here and not. Yep, we can't yep. let it defeat Diagram. us now. Oh, hey. Hell of a day. Come on. Okay. Ash, are you right to roll it down? Yep. yep. Let's do it. Let's get the cars We're down. Here we go, the climb to the summit to overlook Hidden Valley. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, tell me that wasn't worth it. I told you. Oh, wow. How's that? That's really cool. Is that like epic or what? Is that worth the effort? It definitely was worth the effort. This is better than the lookout. That is just <laughs> yeah. epic. Epic. Well, that is the best. That's it. I reckon that's going to be it. That's number one. I think that just hit number one. Ooh, that's a big call. That is a big call. But seriously, look at the view around here right now. This is what we do this for. This is what we go through. All the things we go through for moments like these that are only going to last 15 minutes until the sun's gone. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode here at Arcarula. Um, to the whole team here at Arcarula, everybody that we've met out here at Arcarula, thank you so much for giving us the keys to the city. This is definitely one of those trips that's going to be remembered for so many different reasons. Oh, yes. What are you yeah. going to remember this trip for? <laughs> hey? That's a big one. That's it, guys. Signing out. We are leaving here tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing more of the Flinders Ranges. Yeah. We'll catch you guys in the Southern Flinders Ranges on the next episode of Patriot, Patriot Games. All right, so we've just closed the episode, but you know what's just hit me? We've got to walk all the way back down there. Then we've got to drive four to five hours right across there in the dark. The day is not over yet, but cameras are off. Everybody is stuffed unless something really crazy happens. Uh, but once again, Flinders, wow. like. Honestly, heard about this place, never really thought about it. South Australia turned it on. Thank you so much. I will definitely, definitely be back. Yo, how you going guys? Well look, what you've just seen in that episode, I've done a couple of reviews here with the editing team. Didn't look as hardcore actually as what it, what it actually was. I think there was a couple of things going against us on that day and just there's a couple of points that I want to say before we start getting into, into what's going to come on the comments. Um, I know that, that saying that it kind of come across as, as pretty hardcore but the footage really didn't show what was going on there that day. I think on the embankment where the ram was when you saw Sarah and Dad and everybody get out the car um, what was being masked on that embankment by all those shrubs that were right in front of that embankment was a, um, a drop that I don't know if, if people would have probably survived that because the car would have gone clean over and the, the distance to the bottom was just absolutely hardcore. It was a lot more intense than it actually looked on the footage but I think you can pick that up by everybody's reaction to the situation. Now I just wanted to say before those comments start about you know uh, putting the kids in danger and that obviously over the five series of Patriot Games you've seen us do some absolutely amazing things and we're all about pushing right to the limit but I think on that day particularly that was as close to the limit as I'd ever want to put the, the family um, in a situation like that. So I think calling that um, was the right decision. Um, we weren't defeated as you saw at the end of the episode we still managed to walk up the top um, the safety of, of everybody, the camera crew, uh, the family um, is always the top priority and sometimes that gets a little bit clouded, you know, we go close to the line but in this particular instance I'm glad we made that uh, decision. I don't think it's over yet though, there's might be coming up in, uh, in future series of Patriot Games, we want to get back down there, um, there was a lot more to explore out there in Hidden Valley and the Flinders Ranges, to the whole team down there at the Flinders Ranges and specifically at, at Arcarula um, for this event. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned. More of the Flinders Ranges coming uh, very, very soon.